Hey guys, Tyler here. Today I'm trying out Minesweeper inside of Minesweeper inside of Minesweeper inside of Minesweeper. It's recursive Minesweeper called Infinisweeper. You can find it for free on itch.io. And this is just continuing my quest to find the most sadistic game of Minesweeper ever. I mean, look at this. It zooms in infinitely, but it's the same thing. So, the blue one is probably just a level selection, because that board didn't really make any sense. So this is the first level, and it looks like we just have one layer of Minesweeper inside of Minesweeper, but it's still Minesweeper inside of Minesweeper. It appears that this game does not work um, like normal Minesweeper that always forces you to start with a zero. It's probably because each level is like a set board, at least that's what I'm imagining. So I'll, I hope that just means that because these are set levels that there are in fact no guessing needed. There is courting, which is actually very nice. Seems that most Minesweeper games I play do involve some courting. I just haven't been using it much. But either way, this is a very nice, luxurious thing. In fact, when you hover over each number, you can see which tiles it's adjacent to. And this bigger tile lights up. So it really seems like adjacency rules work as you would expect here. Just anything that's adjacent or diagonal, you know, uh, contributes to the number of mines in the numbers. So it's not too bad, but I want to get to the actual recursive parts. I think that will be a lot of fun. But I did beat the level. Oh, I love the timer too. So this takes me to the next level. So this one has a, a lot more layers. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, and five. Getting a lot deeper here. Let's check it out. A one. Now this is actually adjacent to 10 tiles. So it's only a one out of 10 that I hit a mine. How unlikely could it be? And actually that narrows things down a lot because now I can free up a ton of these. There we go. As soon as I find a an empty space, I can start working. And let's go in here. Oh God, <laughs> this is crazy actually. I, I'm, just, I'm just going in now. This two has another one here. I love actually how crisply and easily you can move about. Uh, this four requires three mines here. I, I get. I think it's easier to go in than out. Although it's tough to say so far. I think I'll just go wherever makes sense. And actually, it seems I'm clearing up a ton here. Two mines here. This two is complete. Like I said, you probably should know the rules of Minesweeper at this point. But, uh, but if you're a newbie to the game, I would recommend checking out any of my other Minesweeper-like videos. I have a lot in that genre. I just think this variant's very interesting. I'm serious, curious to see how far it goes in insanity. Just checking everything. The cording really helps. I do love the timer, too. I'm not really trying to race for time too much, but I am a little conscious of it. I'm not going to, like overwork myself though because of the timer now i'm also i'm pretty sure the game will give me a win once i've freed up every non-mine but maybe it wants me to mark every mine Let's see four one two three and four so this is not mine and then this is a mine this is not a mine oh there's still some more hold up and there we go <laughs> another level complete what about this one this is just a huge board Oh, this one's probably the first recursive one. Yeah, this is probably the same board. Look, you can actually see the cells kind of lighting up as it goes in the middle. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I'll choose this layer. Start maybe here? Oh, nice. Okay, so that frees up infinite space. Sort of. I'll just try to figure out how this works. Oh, they're probably... I just realized there's no edge of the board, so there's probably interesting warping logic. Well, this one only has one neighbor, at least that's something I can work with. This three only has two other neighbors, this uh, two is complete. I have a one, two, one pattern, which means that the mines are just in front of the ones. This is actually very manageable. Oh yeah, and it works like this, it works between layers. Yeah, anything that looks adjacent or diagonal is good by me. Like this too has a mine here and a mine here, so this is not a mine. Very cool. There's actually a lot I can clear out right now. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. This two says one of these two is a mine because there's already a mine here. And this one says one of these three is a mine. This is not a mine. One of these two is a mine. Means these three are not mines. This four is five neighbors. There might be something easier down below. One of these two is a mine. One of these three is a mine. This is not a mine. I think I can work with this three and this two. Two of these three are mines, and one out of these six are mines. Uh, interesting cell shape that I still need to reveal means this is a mine. One of these two is mine. These four are not mines. That's actually that's a whole lot easier to work with. I'll just keep zooming in. It's all the same layer anyway. 
Ooh, hold on. One of these two is a mine, two of these three are mine. This is a mine that's uh, complete. There we go, two marks of mine here. I'm just zooming through this because I'm kind of amazed by the damn recursiveness. It's still blowing my mind. Both of these are mines. Uh, don't want to make any mistakes and when I'm so close. I have five to go. Come on, show me the rest. Let's see. This four has two mines next to it, so both of these are mines. And there we go. God, this is sick. Runs smoothly too. Let's check out the next level. More recursiveness. Although it looks like we interact with two layers and there's 32 mines within these two layers. So let's try here. One. Okay. How about here? Oh, okay. This guessing early is going to be the death of me. I wish it would like mark a cell that is guaranteed zero to compensate for the fact that um, the original Minesweeper always has you start with a zero because it looks like these are pre-planned boards. It, it seems that uh, like once you unveil it, there's no guessing, but to actually get to that no guessing part is a bit of a worrisome. At, at some point, I'm just going to guess my way into a mine and it's going to hurt. Okay, I'll do some zooming in here. How about that? And that might be even more fiendish <laughs> than the recursiveness. Which is saying a lot. Okay, actually, the double layer here is tripping me out. Because it I know it's recursion, but the recursion isn't immediately visible. It kind of looks like, or it feels like at least for a bit, that it's just constantly novel, zooming out. Although I know that's not the case. It's just you keep going somewhere, and there's always cells to be completed. You, it's so easy to get lost in this. Okay, this one. Yeah, it's like, keep moving. There's new stuff. I should... I actually want to keep moving. Just watch everything get bigger. Look at the size of this mine! Okay, let's go back to where I can work with things. I think, like, also one of the scariest things about recursion is that if you're not careful, things can just get astronomically large or small, but I think the large ones are scarier. Big thing is scary thing, usually. And you have to be careful not to let that happen. This is a mine, there we go. What else do I have to work with? Oh, I have this whole top section still. Got a one here, got a one here. Got a lot going on. Two that's complete, two that's complete, the one that's complete, everything's looking. I gotta be careful that one. I can mark a question mark. That one has two mines, and for a second I'm like, no, it has only one mine. No, it is two, it definitely has two. This one is complete, there we go. I would have gotten that wrong. Good thing I didn't go through with my guess. I almost did a bad chord, which would have been terrible, and not just in the musical sense. Okay, we're looking almost done here. It feels like it's opened up. It feels like I can breathe. I'm just trying to figure out exactly where I can go. This three is complete. This five is the biggest number I've seen so far. Am I done? Oh, yep. Finished. <laughs> God, I love this look. Let's do, let's do a couple more and see what else this game can do. Oh, for a second, I thought there wasn't going to be an edge of the board. This one has some... It's also recursive, but, like, the layers are different. So there's, like, this L layer, and then there's 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 this L layer. So it's four layers deep, and each one's just a macaroni elbow nested inside the previous. So where do I start? Yeah, when you're guaranteed not to start with a zero, I wonder what the best starting spot is. Maybe there's some merit to this. That's a two, stay away. Oh God, things are getting scary now. Maybe I can work with a three and one? No, because this three has a lot of cells unique to it that aren't shared by the one. What about here? God, eventually I'll find a zero. This is ridiculous. Or more likely I'll find a mine. There we go. Love to see it. So now I can actually start working at this. Uh, by the way, I hope the echo's kind of gone. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to add too much to my walls yet because things take a long time to ship, it would seem. So, to get around that, I just decided to put stuff into my room. Even stuff that doesn't belong. I did bring some stuff that I intended to put on the walls, but it's a little... it just doesn't fit, unfortunately. And what are you going to do? I'll just put it in a different room and everything will be fine. But I think the echoes at least minimized my current audio, as far as I can tell anyway. But hopefully it's not picked up to be that bad. Okay, this is a mine. 
Oh god, yeah, it feels like it can go on forever. Oh, gross. Two of these three are mine. This is a mine, this is not. This is a mine. Just using a lot of casual Minesweeper tricks. I haven't actually had to use any extreme logic so far. If there ever is any crazy logic, I'll let you know. I feel like just the, the novelty of this is how it feels to play the game. I'll tell you though, I'm sweating. I'm sure you're all waiting for me to finally make a mistake. I'm not gonna let this happen. I mean, while I'm making very basic Minesweeper plays, I'm not gonna... Probably not gonna make a mistake. But who's to say? I could uh, get very sloppy. I could slip up. I don't think it's gonna happen though. All right, three, or one of these three is a mine. Oh, and then one of these three is a mine. That's not the same. Okay, over here I can do something. There we go. There's always a thread to tug on. Okay, one of these two is a mine. One of these three is a mine. This is a mine. Not extremely complicated. I'm just trying a little different where I'm just kind of narrating my feelings rather than my thoughts because honestly a lot of this is just muscle i won't, don't want to say muscle memory but like the logical equivalent to muscle memory it's like i've solved these puzzles before and now i'm just gonna kind of solve them faster and, and by puzzles i mean just like individual logic bits i've solved the individual logic before i played a lot of minesweeper what can i say am i done oh <laughs> i did not think i was even close to done Honestly, this wasn't too bad to wrap my head around. It's actually a really cool concept as far as recursion goes. It's probably not the most sadistic Minesweeper game I played. It's actually quite fun. It's probably something I'll play in my free time. So thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.